today's topic is i am the way the truth and the life so as you all know if we have a long road trip ahead of us with the new technology we want to to know what are the roads that we want to use or else we want to know how much time it will take to go to the final destination so with the technology we will use the gps and we'll check how long it will take or the other roads that we can use for this road trip similar to that the disciples of jesus also had a question they wanted to know what is the next step and what is the next turn in their life so one day thomas asked jesus like this he asked like this lord we don't know where you are going so how can we know the way so jesus replies like this it is stated in john chapter 14 verse 6 i am the way and the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me jesus says that he is the way he is the truth and he is the life what did he mean by this is it only applicable for the disciples at that time or is it applicable for us also in in the current situation it's actually applicable for you and for me as well because jesus say that he is the way he is the truth and he is the life let's see what did he mean by this he says that he is the way what is the way the road the path the direction to the paradise direction to meet the god so what is this way as you know as you all know as we are sinful people because of this sinful because of this sinfulness the connection between us and god was damaged to reconnect this a requirement of a full complete sacrifice was needed so because of that the god sends his one and only son not because of anything because he loved so much because he loved so much and he wanted all of us to be in the heaven he sends his one and only son for our salvation he sends his sends his son and after that that connection was repaired that's why he says that i am the way because he made the way to the paradise he made the way to god he repaired the way to god as well jesus say that i am the good shepherd you know in the society we know sheep are a team of bit foolish animals they don't know where to go they don't know where to find food or they don't know what is the safest place but jesus say that the shepherd is directing them likewise in our lives in our uh, lives we have to follow jesus then he will show us the way the correct way the correct path where is the safest place he will show us the way that's why he has told us that he is the good shepherd further we know in john 1 john chapter 4 verse 10 explains that his life is pure and he was innocent but still he obeyed his father he obeyed his father and he gave us his life because of us to create a way for us because he created the way a new door opened john chapter 10 verse 9 says i am the door if anyone enters by me he will be saved and he will go in and out find pasture so he is the only way if we go if we follow him if we trust him and if we follow him he will show us the correct way that's why he said that he is the way also after that he told that he is also the truth why he told that he is the truth you know this world is full of lies so he is telling that in this full of lies world he is the truth because in our life situations no matter what he will show us the 
correct thing in our life in our life obstacles challenges he will show us the correct path and the correct thing in our life that's why he told us that he is the truth further in john chapter 8 verses 31 to 32 says if you hold to my teaching you are really my disciples then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free he is telling that the truth of his truth will set us free so that's why he told that he is the truth finally he told that he is the life this is the most important thing he told that he is the life you know in the world there are many ways there are many truths but no one had tell that he is the life our god has betrayed the death he is telling that he is the life john chapter 10 verse 10 says the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy i have come that they may have life and have it to the full he is telling i have come to give you life and give it to the full so he is the lord who is giving who is trying to give us life so to achieve that eternal life we all have to go in his path in his correct and complete path so he is inviting us he is telling us that he will show the way please follow him he will show us the correct way please follow him and also he will tell us the correct truth he will show us the truth we have to obey that further he will give us life which no one else going to give us he will give life so in order to achieve that eternal life we have to obey to him we have to follow him and we have to go in his way likewise when we are going in going in his way he will show us what is the truth and what is wrong so i will end my sermon with a small story one day a, a daughter and a father is passing a broken and damaged uh, bridge so the father is telling this daughter this daughter is very small so he is telling his daughter dear please be careful you know this is a damaged bridge so please hold my hand come near me and hold my hand but this daughter replying like this this daughter is saying to his father dada no if i hold your hand i'm scared because if something happens i will release your hand but i know i trust you if you hold my hand you will no matter what will happen you don't let my hand go away so i won't touch your hand but you hold my hand and take me in the correct way because i trust you no matter what will happen you won't let my hand go so likewise that father we also having a loving father who will teach us the way the correct way and the correct things so to achieve the eternal life we have to obey him we have to go with him we have to follow him we just have to trust him and invite him lord please come and take my hand and take me to the final destination we have to invite him and tell him to take us so to do that i will that i will ask for the blessings of god to help us to take you to that final destination god bless you